How's it going YouTube? It's me the cool loser and today's video is going to be on some headset called Clear and it's one of the ones that I went to go see at CES as you can see here I put them on, they feel good, they sound good and I finally got in touch with them and they sent me the clear headphones for me to review for you guys. It is high definition audio dual driver headphones. That's the back of the box. It's actually a pretty hard box. I haven't opened it yet and I've been waiting. Let's let the bottom slowly slide out. Woo! Look at the box, it even has a little foam pad to protect it. Hello, whoa, hello, hello, how is it sound in here? It's like soundproofed. Here is a certificate of acoustic calibration. Field of ink on this. And then we have a little really smooth, silky carrying case with a zipper on top and a keychain thing. So you can set it on there. If you like to protect them and not have a lot of dust or things you're scratching it if you put it in your backpack. And this looks like a music streaming service called Tidal, 30 day complimentary. And here is a man in the start guide. We got the same foam piece. Wow, this one's so much thicker. In the middle we have double sided and then we have another one. But they seem to be a little bit different. This one has three one button. It has a little microphone port right there. Oh yes, and here we go. Oof, this thing feels good. Look at the inside, left and right, so you know which way is which. I squish it, and it's like a memory, it feels like gel almost in it. So that's gonna be very comfortable, because I know it is. I already wore it. At CS, which was around four months ago, is the headphone jack. Pretty much it, there's no buttons, no volume. It's not a Bluetooth, so you do have to use the record. But look at this thing, ah oh, yeah. Just smooth the way it pulls out. Look how wide that goes. Definitely gonna be able to fit big heads. Let's put it on my head. So hello. So it definitely muffles a little bit outside so you won't be able to hear a lot of noise. It's not a noise counseling one. My ears fit inside of it and it's completely just on the head. So I can wear these for long periods of time because they're not on my ears. I won't get that fatigue. Let me take my hat off. I can lower these down. This is an aluminum build. You're not getting cheapy plastic feel to it. So I'm gonna take the one with three. This one has one, two, three. I'm guessing for volume down, pause, and volume up. As we can see, the second one only has one. You'll get an angled 3.5 millimeter. So if you don't like using Bluetooth headsets and you just want that wired connection, this is that route to go. Yeah. It definitely muffles some sound here. And then I will have this flat style plug into there. Look at that. I'm gonna play some music here. I can't even hear if this thing's on. Like I don't even hear a hiss or anything at all. Woo, that scared me. Cause it's, you can't tell they're on. That paused it, play. I'm holding the bottom button down, but it's not doing anything. So I could only pause it right now. That's all the volume. Ooh, this sounds so clear. I'm going to unplug these and use my best headsets that I have. And oh man, this feels not the same. These Zorro headsets feel totally different. They're on my ear. So let's press play. Yeah, I can still pause it. But I can't turn the volume up or down. Put these back on my head. This is hard. All right, going back and forth with the best headphones that I have, the Zoros are actually a little bit louder and a little bit bassier, but the clear ones sound cleaner. They do sound clear. They have a cleaner sound to it. The seal makes it a little bit better. The Zoro 2s are definitely one to compete with these, and it's also cheaper than the Zoro 2s. So let me put it this way. I like these because the way they feel in my head. It's not too much, but I can hear the difference. It doesn't do wireless. This does do wireless. You are paying more on this headset. So what do you guys think? These are definitely nice ones. The other ones that I tested were wireless and they had light up on their C's. I was hoping I'd get that one sent to me, but this is my experience today. I'm gonna edit the next few videos on this and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the comfort feel to it. You can't even hear any crazy rattles out of it. It just feels like quality, like premium materials used in this. I can feel it. I don't know what do you guys think. Balancing out the features and comfort 
I would have to say that these two come to a tie. These are the clear headphones. If you want it for yourself, or maybe you want to check out the noise canceling, the professional DJ, the wireless, or the high definition dual driver, which is this one. There's more at clear.us. Go check them out. Thank you, Clear, for sending these in for a review. I very much would like to try your wireless ones. When the iPhone 7's out, I'm not going to be able to plug in the headphone. It's going to need to be Bluetooth. But there you guys have it. I like it. That's it for me. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Later. Is it on the ear or over the ear? It's over the ear. Okay, yeah. I have big ears. Very comfortable.